the extent to which you can see how other people live seems useful at worst and incredibly pleasurable and interesting at best. It confirms the basic truth that people everywhere are pretty much the same. The same hopes and dreams. And when you come to a place like Vietnam and you see former American Vietnam vets coming back, when you see somebody like a John Kerry or a John McCain, two very different people politically and temperamentally, but who were able to bond in their experience of meeting with their former adversaries. And you don't make peace with your friends. You make peace with your enemies. As a father of a young girl, is it all gonna be okay? It's all gonna work out. My daughter will be able to come here in five years, 10 years, she'll be able to have a bowl of banchad. The world will be a better place. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think progress is not a straight line. You know, there are going to be moments in any given part of the world where things are terrible. But having said all that, I think things are going to work out. Thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. The vast majority of this country don't remember the American War. They don't remember any war. No. You used to be a tour guide. Yes. For how many years? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. I know you have to bring people over to the museum, the American War Museum, what, every time, right? Yeah. In your lifetime, is there going to be a time when that's not going to have to be a stop? It won't be necessary. It won't even be important. No one will remember. Or should people always remember? I think it's good to remember so we don't make the same mistake. You know, some people choose to be angry, to hold grudge, but then some people choose to let go and uh, for the peace inside themselves. That's up to the person. And I think it's, it's good that... that It's, it's important that we know about history. It's so true. It is important. And to make sure it's never happened again. That's right. I wonder how many soldiers we still have. I met a lot of war veterans. There. And surprisingly, a lot of if them they're still alive. Don't, don't have any ha angers against death Who are our enemies. POWs. I wonder. And that's, that's amazing. That's, that is amazing. I learned so much from them. For Vietnamese, we have so many legends, but the majority of legends related to our tradition of fighting against foreign invaders and to protect our country. Over the last 20 years of my life, I've seen a lot of changes. And we know that there's still a lot of shortcomings Everything needs time. We need to be patient. We, we can't rush because we really don't want another war. General William Westmoreland, who commanded U.S. forces here in the mid-60s, famously said, The Oriental doesn't put the same high price on life as does a Westerner. Life is plentiful. Life is cheap in the Orient. 
was an extraordinarily grotesque and wrongheaded observation so from a guy who, if nothing else, was expected to understand his enemy on the battlefield. He could not, it turned out, do even that. Maybe, I hope, we are a little bit smarter now. Do you think he could have been murdered because of his ties to Vietnam?